Today I'm taking you on an exclusive tour of one of Dubai's most iconic attractions, the Museum of the Future. This futuristic masterpiece isn't just another museum, it's a glimpse into what life could look like 50 years from now. So if you're planning a trip on Dubai, this is definitely a must-see, so stick around as I share a little bit about what you may find in this museum. I won't show you everything, just so at least it leaves a little bit for you to see. So let's go. This building is covered in stunning Arabic calligraphy, which symbolizes Dubai's vision for a bright future. Did you know that these inscriptions are actual quotes from Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum about innovation and the future? The beauty of this museum is that there's no old relics or historical artifacts, instead it's packed with interactive exhibits and futuristic technology like this one and mind-blowing experiences that make you feel like you've stepped into a time machine. So I would say it's definitely different from any other museum that I've ever been to. So it's actually a guided tour from the beginning half of it and they tell you like a little bit of a story so they put you in this lift which looks a little bit like a spacecraft and you're jutting off into outer space and they're going to then show you all the other exhibits about the future and everything like this. So it is a nice sort of storytelling but interactive museum. So really good for young children but also adults as well. So each floor of the museum is dedicated to a different theme that revolves around humanity's future. From space exploration to AI to sustainable living and health technology as well. So what are the must-see exhibits? First up there's the DNA library. It's like stepping into a digital garden of the future where you can learn about biodiversity and genetic research in the most creative way possible. Next don't miss the bio design lab where you can see groundbreaking innovations that could shape how we live in the future like 3D printed organs or sustainable homes built from eco-friendly materials. This was probably my most favourite exhibit because got so many photos here and it just looked really, really cool with all the changing lights. I also really liked this exhibit because it was all about sort of health and well-being and it really made you think about sort of trying to live a little bit more less stressful and things that you can do to sort of calm yourself and reduce stress. If you want other ideas of what else you can do in Dubai as well, don't forget to watch my five day itinerary video, which I've just linked at the top and you can find out other things that we got up to as well. So after our trip to space, we're heading back to Dubai and I absolutely loved this lift with the little interactive screen that sort of showed you landing, it was amazing. Now if you're planning to visit, here are a few quick tips. First of all, definitely book your tickets in advance. As you saw, it was really really busy and it's a super popular attraction and tickets can sell out fast or you could be waiting in queues for ages on the day, especially on the weekends. Secondly, give yourself at least two to three hours to explore the place fully and trust me, you'll want to take your time and enjoy each interactive exhibit. I don't usually enjoy museums, but I really enjoyed this place, so I would highly recommend it when coming to visit Dubai.